me tell you this story. One day, a man of God came to town, and I wanted to re- meet this man of God. So, you know, every man of God has protocol. So what I did was that I messaged the, I, I sent a message. I took the number of one of his, the pastors, and I messaged the pastor that I am so, so, and so, and so, and so. The man, the pastor never replied my message. So one of the programs, I met the pastor. The pastor came from Accra. So one of the programs, I met the pastor, not the man of God, the set man himself, but the, the same pastor. So they, because they were coming to open a branch here for that pastor. So I met him. I said, I want to meet the man of God. And that time I was going, I was going through tough times in ministry, challenging times in ministry. I was going through different difficult times in ministry. So I went to this pastor trying to get him, get him to um, let me meet his, his father so that I can receive a prayer because I was going through difficult times in ministry. This guy ignored me. And then he was like, Gangalia, like, serious. I tried all, all my messages was not attended to. He gave me his number. All my message was not attended to. I visited him still. So what I did was that I waited one of the days. The man of God, after the man of God preached, I took my motto. I followed the man of God. Not the pastor, assistant, not the, not the assistant pastor. They are coming to open a branch for him in town. So I followed the man of God. As the man of God, was, I looked for the hotel he was going. Followed him. When he just came out of his car, he was about to enter the hotel. I just came down from a motor, lied on the floor. I said, man of God, I want you to pray for me. I'm struggling. I'm struggling in this thing called ministry. And the man of God laid hands and prayed for me. I got my